Right now, top health officials are once again pushing for vaccinations as COVID cases continue to surge across the country. Plus, a setback for President Biden's spending plan after a lack of support from one senator. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Josh Breider. Mark Kane is on vacation. First this afternoon, new COVID cases have nearly doubled since the beginning of November. And Dr. Anthony Fauci says the Omicron strain could soon be the dominant variant. Mola Leahy reports. We're going to see the number of cases go up pretty steeply. America's top doctors sounded the alarm Sunday, pushing Americans to get vaccinated and boosted. Be prudent in everything else you do when you travel in your indoor settings that are congregate, wear a mask. Average daily cases have almost doubled since the beginning of November, and breakthrough cases for those vaccinated are on the rise. Senators Elizabeth Warren and Cory Booker revealed Sunday they both have mild cases of COVID. That's despite being boosted. If you've had vaccines and a booster, you're very well protected against Omicron causing you severe disease. But the disruptions caused by COVID outbreaks are growing. Three NFL games and five NBA games have been postponed, and six NHL teams won't play for at least a week. A growing number of universities are now delaying the return to in-person classes after winter break. Among them, Harvard, Middlebury, and DePaul in Chicago. And cruise ships are seeing COVID cases again. Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Seas docked in Miami Saturday after almost 50 people tested positive for the virus. In New York City, which saw over 12,000 new cases in one day, the mayor said he'll decide this week if the Times Square New Year's Eve celebration can go on, as Broadway shows like Hamilton shuttered over the weekend and the producers of the Christmas Spectacular starring the Rockettes canceled the remainder of their shows. But COVID came early this year. And once again, Saturday Night Live had no live audience, well, no musical Christmas, performance, so and few live good. sketches after last minute changes for COVID safety. Well, this is the beginning of a testing line that stretches half a city block. With long lines like this across New York City, Mayor Bill de Blasio announced that more testing sites would open. That's a similar site across the country as health officials urge regular testing ahead of holiday gatherings. Mola Lange, CBS News, Manhattan. President Biden will address the nation about COVID tomorrow. Turning to weather this midday, Julian Seawright has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Hi, Julian. Hey, Josh. And we are looking at a quiet start to our Mondays. We're getting into the noon hour. We see sky covers really just having a few clouds, but plenty of blue in our skies as well as we're getting things rolling for us for the rest of the afternoon hours. You're heading to lunch, but you need to know temperatures are around 36 degrees as of right now. Not too bad in terms of winds either. And we're going to see those clouds continue to fluctuate throughout the rest of our afternoon as temperatures look to increase increase just about a degree or two more throughout the rest of the afternoon. But for right now in southern Wisconsin, we can see we're all holding steady into those middle 30s as of right now. 34 degrees for Platteville, 36 in Janesville on par with Madison as of right now in Watertown as well. But wind speeds aren't too bad either. Only areas that we're looking at into into the teens is usually La Crosse and Viroqua as of right now. Everywhere else we're looking at single digits as of right now, which isn't knocking too much onto our wind chills. Just a little bit chillier. But for the most part, not too much to complain about as we're going in throughout the rest of our afternoon. Here's a look at the next 12 hours. We'll see steady increase into the rest of our afternoon. But then as we get into tonight, that steady decrease will come in as well as we will hit below uh, freezing temperatures for tonight. We'll have much more. What else to expect coming up in a few moments? Until then, so it's back to you, Josh. All right, Julian. Thank you. Well, right now, police are investigating an officer involved shooting in Stoughton. Officers located a stolen vehicle just before five last night in the Walmart parking lot. When police tried to stop the car, the two people inside began speeding away. An officer who was almost struck by the car fired his gun at the vehicle. No one was injured. Police eventually arrested the two people and the officer who fired their gun is on administrative leave. Madison police have arrested a teen and issued a warrant for a second teen in connection to a string of armed carjackings. The incidents happened between August and October on Madison's west side. Officers say over 40 vehicles were broken into on one night alone. They also say more people have been suspected in the attacks, but that investigation is ongoing.
President Biden's social spending and climate bill appears to be in jeopardy today. This after West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin announced he will not support it. In a statement, the White House called Manchin's announcement at odds with what he told the president in conversations last week. The bill needs the support of all 50 Senate Democrats to move forward. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is still promising a vote in the new year. A standoff between two federal agencies could have flight halting consequences for airlines caught in the middle. Starting January 5th, U.S. airlines may have to stop using equipment that helps pilots land in bad weather or low visibility at more than 40 of the nation's busiest airports. That's because of an FAA order prompted by concerns about possible interference from 5G towers. The wireless industry insists there are no safety issues. Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn believes uh, expanded 5G service is essential. We have 39 countries where you have this deployment. There have been no issues. What we are looking at is a uh, late onto the table objection by the FAA. The wireless industry has paid more than $80 billion to acquire the bandwidth to roll out 5G. Airlines say without a solution, flights will have to be delayed and canceled, impacting an estimated 32 million flyers next year. Well, up next on News for Now at noon this Monday, a look at your consumer news. A leading vaccine maker takes on the Omicron variant and spill the beans. Big bucks are in store for your favorite family recipes. I'm Elise Preston at the CBS Broadcast Center. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. Have you put off updating your kitchen all year long for fast turnaround and guaranteed quality? Call Mad City Kitchens, Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for kitchen cabinet refacing, installed in as little as two days. Get started on your dream kitchen now, from cabinets and hardware to countertops and a new kitchen island. Plus, check out the savings during our year-end blowout sale. Receive 75% off installation of your kitchen cabinet refacing project with no interest and no payments for 18 months. And there's a bonus. Take 75% off select upgrades. Plus, when you call during this program, you'll receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. The year-end blowout sale ends December 31st. Don't miss out on this incredible offer. Throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Guys, if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, Peak Performance for Men has a natural solution that can help you today. That's right. Stop wasting money on pills and inferior technology that hurts and just masks your ED. Fix it for good. The best part? Our ED treatment is non-invasive, painless, and you can get back to your natural functionability after just a few short in-office sessions. Call us today and mention this ad and your initial consultation is free. We are Madison's trusted specialist and only national erectile dysfunction provider. Call Peak Performance for Men today. I'm on Express is the only place where you can count on same-day service. Thanks to our local labs, shop our huge selection and get quality glasses at a price you'll love. And see better today. Right glasses, right price, right now. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapies therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Watching News 3 Now at Noon, winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television.
stocks tumbled in early trade as Wall Street reacted to the recent wave of coronavirus infections worldwide. Investors are also weighing the economic impact of the president's Build Back Better Act hemorrhaging in the Senate and the Fed's upcoming tapering of its pandemic stimulus. Moderna says its booster shot appears to protect against Omicron, boosting antibodies 37-fold. The vaccine maker's announcement drove up shares Monday morning. Moderna says it will develop an Omicron-specific booster and expects the dose to go into clinical trials early next year. What are the best workplaces for women? A new survey from Comparably shows IBM, Experian, and Adobe are the top three large companies. The career platform compiled its list by having women weigh in on factors like professional growth, compensation, and benefits. This comes as women still make 82 cents for every dollar earned by a man, according to the Department of Labor. And time to spill the family secrets. Turns out your favorite family recipe could score you $50,000. Food company McCormick is hosting a holiday recipe competition. Contestants can upload recipes through the company's Flavor Maker app and explain the personal meaning behind each dish. Home cooks have until December 31st to enter. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Elise Preston. And taking a look at stocks this noon hour, everything down. The Dow Jones down 641 points, NASDAQ down 276, and S&P 500 down 72. We'll still ahead on News 3 Now at noon. Pam Bianchi has the Midwest Farm Report. Plus, with Christmas week now here, Julian Seawright is tracking that all-important holiday forecast. Stay with us. Get a new kitchen quicker with cabinet refacing from Mound City Kitchens. Our in-home design consultants make it fun and easy to choose colors like Cascade White, Cardamom, or Chocolate Pear. With soft closed doors, custom hardware, new countertops, even a kitchen sink. We install in as little as two days, and now it's even more affordable during our year-end blowout sale. Receive 75% off installation of your kitchen cabinet refacing project. That's an incredible value. Plus, we have the financing to make it easy. No interest and no payments for 18 months. And with the bonus, you'll save even more. 75% off select upgrades. Plus, be sure you call now during this program for a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. Throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Experience, knowledge, results. That's what really matters when you need help after a serious truck accident. You'll need a lawyer experienced in fighting and winning for people just like you. Gruber Law Offices has the resources, strong track record of success, and a team of experienced lawyers to take care of your needs. We've successfully helped people injured in big truck accidents for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. We're live in the 608 at a local hospital celebrating 15 years for the lights of love. Yeah, we'll share how you can take part in it. And we are watching that system trending our way towards Christmas. That's tomorrow morning for 430 to 7. Be prepared for winter weather. Trust the First One Weather Team to give you clear, timely, and accurate info. Keeping you safe and ahead of the storms. Your certified most accurate team. First One Weather. Only on News 3 Now. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. And welcome back, everyone. Time to check in with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Pam, I can't believe Christmas week is already here. I know, and not a drip of snow on the ground around here. It's, uh, it's 
kind of a challenge for those of us that are into the holiday spirit but lacking that motivation outside. But we'll get to that in just a minute. Tell you what, uh, they are not thinking about the holidays on Wall Street today. You alluded to it earlier, Josh. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average has been in deep red ink all morning long, and some of our commodities have followed suit. Uh, we also want to let you know that the Wisconsin Farm Technology Day, state's largest outdoor agriculture event, is selected its 2024 site. The Board of Directors has accepted a contract application from Chippewa County to take the state's largest outdoor agriculture event to northwest Wisconsin that year. Uh, organizers figure that it's probably going to be an August show come 2024 because the county's already committed to some big events like Rock Fest and Country Fest in July. The last time Chippewa County hosted Wisconsin Farm Technology Days was back in 2004. So now the work begins. Don't forget Clark County is going to be the site for this year's, well, I should say 2022's Wisconsin Farm Technology Days. Rail Acres just outside of Loyal July 12th through the 14th. Then a little bit of an anomaly for 2023's show be Badger's Team and Gas Engine Show grounds between Wisconsin Dells and Baraboo. So that one will be a little different before we head to Chippewa County in 2024. Like I said, uh, some of our markets have managed to recover just a little bit. Soybeans are now up a couple pennies on the midday in Chicago, but corn and wheat still lower, as is our dairy complex. Barrel cheese closes a half cent lower today at 162 and a half. 40 pound block cheese is down two and three quarter cents at 186. Double A butter Josh stands unchanged today at 209 and a quarter per pound. Boy, boy I'll tell you, judging by all the pictures I saw on social media, people are still doing a lot of holiday baking and uh, gifting. So that dairy complex could perk up yet before the end of the week. Yeah, just a few more days to get it all done, Pam. That's right, I know. Well, you know, with the weather pretty mild outside, you can kind of have a toss-up. Do I go outside and do something or do I stay in the house and cook? Yeah, You've not too shabby. Option. You got the options. Yeah. All right, Pam, have a good one. Thank you. You too. All right, now let's head to Julian for a full look at that forecast. Hi, Julian. Well, the forecast is, as we just mentioned, it is mild as we're starting off our work week, but it won't be like that throughout much of the week as we get into it. As we take a look at what we're expecting for the noon hour, we're looking at 36 degrees as of right now. Clouds have moved into the area, but winds are not much of an issue at all. In southern Wisconsin, as of right now, 36 degrees for Janesville, 35 and Platteville and 38 degrees to our friends over to the west in Basquebel. So we're also holding into those middle 30s as we're getting things rolling for us for our lunch hour. But planning out the rest of the day as we get into the evening hours, we're going to be looking at varying cloud cover. And then we're going to be seeing those temperatures still hang around into those middle to lower 30s as we get into tonight. We're going to have that cold front sweeping in, which is going to be bringing in temperatures that will be into the teens for tonight. As we can see, this is going to be the approaching cold front that will be dropping temperatures for tonight and make things quite chilly over the next couple of days. However, aside from northern Wisconsin, we're still going to be seeing dry conditions for us throughout the next few days. So as we go into our evening commute, just expect still some open sky. Could see some cloud cover, but for the most part, temperatures will drop below the freezing point, and that's how it's going to be throughout the rest of tonight. We're trending to be below freezing, and as we get into the overnight hours, we're looking at teens as we get our morning commute started. Then cloud cover is going to start to build up once again, so we're looking for more cloudy conditions into Tuesday, but as you can see, a system over into the north, bringing in some snow to areas way north of southern Wisconsin, but we could see a scrape of some light flurries as we get into the evening hours for our Tuesday. But other than that, still not looking at a lot of action for us, still staying onto the quiet side as we're getting things rolling rolling, excuse me. But for this afternoon, we're looking for 37 degrees to be our high for us. Still going to be looking at partly sunny conditions, but one thing we are going to be keeping an eye on is again, our holiday weekend. Starting into Friday, we are looking at the system because of such that warmer trend. As of right now, don't get married to it, but we are looking at chances of seeing showers. Just what that precipitation would be is still the toss up here. Could potentially see that rain first for Friday. And as we go into the overnight hours into our Saturday, potentially switching over into light flurries or even potentially again. And I'm using that very, very repetitively because this is what we're going to be looking at as a chance of seeing some snowfall coming into our holiday especially late for Christmas and transitioning into our Sunday. It's so one thing we're going to be keeping an eye on, but we do have to continue to keep dreaming because things are just not looking very optimistic for us as of right now for snow chances or a white Christmas. And as we can see, our snow chances or even just from precipitation is best for Friday, but and to the rest of the holiday weekend, we're not looking at much. However, a chance of seeing for the weekend following of some more system bringing in some more snow. But the three things we're going to need to know, we are still trending warmer. It's going to be on the drier side. 
side as we get into the back end towards Christmas. But we are looking at showers. Just if there's snow is not really looking to be too likely as we can see 40s are still in our forecast from Thursday into Friday. And then as we head into Christmas, we are looking for showers. But what those showers may be as of right now, potentially just some rain, but we could get lucky and potentially see some more snow as well. But that's something we're going to keep an eye on for the next few days and keep everyone up to date with Josh. Yeah, you know, a lot of folks want to like Christmas. Those chances looking slim. Yes, yeah, they are, but we'll keep on hoping. All right, Julian, thank you. All right, over to Mr. Food in the Test Kitchen, where Howard has a new twist on an old favorite. For as long as I can remember, every holiday meal that I've been to always includes sweet potatoes finished off with some kind of gooey topping. This year's no different. However, instead of serving the predictable sweet potato casserole, we came up with individual sweet potato crowns that are finished with a to die for butter pecan topping. To make these, we start by cutting a couple of large sweet potatoes into one and a half inch slices. We leave the skins on since it makes them look even more special. Now, we coat our sweet potatoes with a little oil and salt and place them on a baking sheet before popping them in the oven. While they're baking, we combine some brown sugar, chopped pecans, cinnamon, and a tad of softened butter. Once our sweet potatoes are fork tender, we top each one with a spoonful of our butter pecan topping and back into the oven they go. We can even prep these early in the day and bake them off right before dinner. Serve these with your usual holiday favorites and watch everyone's face light up. It's a new twist on a longtime favorite that is guaranteed to get everyone excited. To get the recipe for our caramelized sweet potato crowns, simply visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Task Kitchen, where today we found a twist on a traditional way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Second. Up next, Linda Barch with the Bruce Company answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call is 608-270-9933. We'll be right back. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. If a new kitchen has been on your wish list all year long, you're running out of time. Call Mad City Kitchens, Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for kitchen cabinet refacing, installed in as little as two days. Don't put it off any longer. When you see the results, you'll wish you had called sooner. The time's running out to call for these savings. It's our year-end blowout sale. Receive 75% off installation of your kitchen cabinet refacing project with no interest and no payments for 18 months. Plus, the bonus takes 75% off select upgrades. And it's your last chance to call during this program to receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. The year-end blowout sale ends December 31st. Don't miss out on this incredible offer. Throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Guys, if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, Peak Performance for Men has a natural solution that can help you today. That's right. Stop wasting money on pill after pill that just masks your ED. Fix it for good. We can make the difference. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. I was doing some shopping and got a pop-up on my laptop. Computer had a virus. So I called the number on the page and the guy on the phone wants to take control of my screen to sort it out. Then I remember a tip I got from the AARP Fraud Watch Network. Control my screen. This is a tech support scam. Thankfully, my order still went through. Recognize fraud sooner, so your money lives longer. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. We can't all be morning people, but we can all 
eat McDonald's for breakfast. Enjoy a savory bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit and pair it with a $1 any size Dr. Pepper. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome back this noon. Linda Bart with the Bruce Company is answering your plant and garden questions. Again, that number to call 608-270-9933. Linda, how are you? I'm doing well. Glad to see the sun. Yes, good to see that sunshine. We've got a few calls already, so we're going to get right to it. First up, Doug from Broadhead. Doug, what's your question? Hey, Linda. Thanks for taking my call. Um, so yeah, I had a couple of low spots in my lawn. Fill them in with black dirt. I put some grass seed over that and then put another quarter, half inch of black dirt on top. Will that come up in spring or is it going to rot in winter? Well, I'm a little bit worried how much soil you might have put over the top of that grass seed because grass is sort of like lettuce. It, it doesn't want a whole lot of soil over the top. But um, if it isn't too deep, dormant seeding works just fine. The grass seed will sit there over winter and it, it doesn't get destroyed. It will just start to germinate as soon as we have warm enough temperatures and some rain, which we've not had any rain. So I doubt if anything germinated this fall for you so far. So I think in spring, as long as you didn't cover it with too much soil, if you don't see something early on, put down some additional grass seed at that time and don't cover it with a lot of soil. Just rake it in. All right, up next, Joan from New Glarus. Joan, what's your question? Hi, Linda. I have a Christmas cactus. Um, I started it from slip of uh, my mom's two years ago and it never blooms it's healthy well, it grows but it don't bloom okay but see that that is still a young plant if you've just taken slips a couple of years ago um when a plant is growing vegetatively meaning producing a lot of leaves and getting their roots established it's not going to be in a, in a state to, to develop flowers so oh. just keep it in a nice sunny window this time of the year um, continue watering, fertilizing, and you'll probably I, maybe next year. It's it's a little hard to say how how large it has to get, but if it's as long as it's growing well, eventually it will flower for you. All right, caller number three, Beth from DeForest. Beth, what's your question? Hi, Linda. I have a uh, sage and a thyme plant and rosemary plant that I brought in from outside, and they're just like shriveling up and dying. I got them in the sun, give them water, but they don't like it. Yes, I, I especially have problems with rosemary coming inside. I, I, I thought I heard it was rosemary, did you say thyme or sage? Rosemary, thyme, and sage, yep. I've got a okay. chicken pot herb plants. Yeah, see, sage, I don't know if I've, well, I haven't tried growing sage inside, but I think it's not going to be sunny enough. Uh, or just, you would have to supply some additional grow lights, perhaps, for it to be happy. But um, the rosemary should survive. It's okay. just a matter of getting the right amount of water at the right time because you don't want to rot them either. Right. What kind of fertilizer should I be putting on? Well, if they aren't do it thriving, you don't want to add additional fertilizer. When plants are, are struggling to get um, accommodated to the new light conditions, if they aren't throwing on new growth, uh, a fertilizer is not really ap applicable. But you could use a liquid that you would dilute quite a bit just to maybe urge them along. But you don't want to add too much at this time. All You're just right. going to have to see if they survive. Yeah. All right, Linda, that does it for time today. We appreciate as always. Of course, we will see you next time. All right, happy. All right, over to Julian now for a final look at your forecast. Julian? Well, a final look at our forecast. We're looking at temperatures to be on a slight little roller coaster as we're going in throughout the next few days. A cold front's going to be coming in tonight, which will be dropping temperatures well below freezing. As we're going to be holding into the teens as our lows going into our Tuesday. But really, Wednesday will be about the coldest day of this week. Then we're going to be climbing back up into those lower 40s and then heading into this weekend. Of course, we have Christmas. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We are looking for the warmest day of the week for Christmas Eve as of right now with a chance of rain in the forecast, which we could be seeing some showers around Saturday as well. Will they be snow or rain? Well, that's something we're going to keep an eye on over the next couple of days, Josh. All right, Jillian, thank you. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Make it a great afternoon. We'll see you back here at 4.